Hello. Okay. I recorded some audio of this about a month ago and it might overwhelm your speakers a little bit. So you might, this is kind of a warning before I get into it, but also I wanted to talk about uh, the guitar a little bit more in detail than I did in that video. That was more for uh, friends than for YouTube anyway, but they should work okay together. Um, so this is the Fender Jazzmaster, not the Squire, but this is the Made in Mexico, not the uh, American version. And um, so to get the extra tone sounds, there you can see the, the extra tone sounds that I talk about in the other part. Uh, basically, you had to get the less expensive guitar. It's kind of... And I, this isn't going to be a total head-to-head -head comparison with the GNL. The GNL that's been behind me for last year. Um, they both have two similar style pickups with the single coil. These ones might be a little less jangly. They said on theirs that they intentionally made them more jangly, so you're getting a little bit more of that Rickenbacker sound. That's true. So if you're not used to it, you'll, you know, might not like it. I still don't know what this gizmo does, but it moves back and forth. And I still haven't attached the, the whammy to the thing because, I mean, why? I mean, it's there, but actually that's the wrong size one. Um, so when I called Guitar Center, the guy said the first thing he, he plays this type of model and the first thing he does is disengage this switch because he doesn't he doesn't like it at all, and most people just play through this circuit instead. Um, I am not quite that rabid about it. As At first, I was kind of like, oh, this is just very muddy. But now I'm kind of like, well, that doesn't mean I'll never use it, that I would want it <laughs> just not there. Uh, basically... I bought that one last year because there were none of these in my price range. Now this one became available. And basically the only thing that I can see that's wrong with it is the chip out of this headstock. So I wasn't too unhappy to get the upgrade. Um, because, uh, yeah, like I said, there's, there's a pretty big jump in price to the next model, I think. And that's, again, without the extra tones. And that magic button, I'm not sure, is on the Squire versions. What the, what the magic metal button does on the bridge, I have no idea. And uh, you've got the front port entry here, whereas the GNL has a, an outside, more like a Telecaster. And I... I think I mentioned already, this has only one tone knob, that one has two, but this one has a switch, that one has a switch, this one has these extra controls, that one does not have the extra controls, so that one is more similar to, again, the next uh, Fender model, but that's the Indonesian one, which supposedly isn't as good or whatever, but I haven't had any issues with it, apart from the damage from the shipping, which was even more than the chip out of his headstock. Blah, blah, like I said, I'll get into that when I get into that video. So I don't know what else you need to know about a Jazzmaster apart from, obviously, it has a surf-looking design. It's considered a surf guitar. But, of course, the Jaguar being the upgraded model and with the shorter scale neck a little bit, which I actually do prefer because, uh, again, I don't have super giant hands. And so the second half of the video hopefully will be not too annoying. Okay, so Jazz Master with modern pickups and not the true ones or whatever. Um, this knob is not attached correctly or something, so I'm going to have to have a guy look at that. This switch wants to go to center position no matter what, even though I prefer it there. Uh, it little temperamental um aside from my grubby fingerprints on it though it looks basically brand new so i think they were selling it used because this knob got tweaked and they misplaced the whammy bar don't know um this kill switch though that i thought was going to be a 
nice feature that I liked because it pushes your performing volumes up to these. Boy, that's way too, way too loud for this hand. the settings down here though and so I don't understand what is the point of that because I thought those were you were locking in those settings and then you were going straight to them here but as you can hear when I switch I get two totally different sounds and that's not what I thought was supposed to happen there so this bottom sound the guitar to be what why is this more pillowy kill switch version supposed to be my live default i don't i don't get it uh so i don't know if i have really that many more usable sounds right off the bat than the gumby the green gumby uh, you know, but of course I've only been playing with it for less than five minutes because I just tuned it. So there's the bridge, I assume, or the neck. Middle. Very jangly. And you can hear this squeak a lot when I move my hand. And then bridge we're almost at a telecaster at that point and I, I mean that's with the tone all the way up and the volume not too bad almost a telecaster right? almost a stratocaster I have some reverb, but I don't have any distortion. I just have the mid contour on. But I mean, just finger picking, it's like super loud. But that's what the volume is for, right? That's a nice dark fretboard. And. Um, yeah, I'm not going to record a song right now, I'm just partnering.